Hey guys, good morning. So I wanted to come with a part two video of a day in a life of a logistics coordinator. Um, I know some people have reached out to me and pretty much said, can they get an in-depth look of a day in my life? So it's pretty rainy out today um, and super gloomy, but um, in a nutshell, my day has many challenges and every day is different. So um, we'll see what today has, and um, I hope you guys enjoy the video. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so right here, what I'm doing is taking a bunch of shrink wrap pallets that have already been picked and packed, as you can see on the pallets itself. Um, this particular order right here is coffee that's going to a bunch of different Target DCs, um, which stands for distribution centers. And um, it's about 25 to 26 pallets of um, different SKUs, cart numbers that again have already been routed. And um, I'm getting it ready for pickup for the next day. Um, just always like to be ahead of the game and be ready. This way I'm not having any truck drivers waiting. Um, you know, I like the truck drivers to pretty much get loaded and sign the BOL paperwork and get them out the door. So I'm pretty much staging all the pallets here um, and placing all the pack and slips on each. And I'm going back over to my desk area. Um, so a lot of times what I do is I multitask between the floor and admin duties because I receive a lot of emails as I'm managing four different accounts. There goes my partner in crime. Um, and it really helps when you have somebody who is really organized and they can pick and pack well and fast and efficient. Um, and him and I work really well together as a team, considering it was just the two of us handling multiple accounts. Um, so right now, I think what I'm doing is probably just checking over some emails and seeing if anybody's reached out for any changes that they need made. Um, if you can see, uh, right now, I think I'm probably walking to the back. Um, so you guys got to excuse me because I recorded this video some time ago. But um, yeah, so as you can see, there's different products for different customers on the racks. Um, and everything's labeled and we're able to pick and pack by uh, using a scanner, which helps us, keeps us organized. So this is a completely different product here. Um, this customer here... Um, they pretty much use these phone pouches that get shipped out to different concerts and different events. And what they pretty much do is the phones get placed inside of the pouch itself. This way, the concert goers or those who are attending the event cannot record or take any pictures. Um, so... Yeah, it's pretty much fast moving because you're dealing with a lot of different celebrities and high-end clients. Um, so with these particular pouches, we pretty much kit them, which pretty much means the customer likes them to rubber band um, packs of 10 phone pouches um, each. And typically we ship out a high quantity depending on how many people are going to be attending either the comedy show or... A music concert or um, a charity event um, and I'm pretty much getting the order ready um, so I think with these I'm not sure if these were returns which I think they are these are returns that were sent back and I'm pretty much just doing a quality control check making sure none are damaged that were returned back and just placing them back in their uh, appropriate box. This way they can be placed back into location, back into stock. Once I get my final quantities, I'll pretty much enter it into the system that we use and let the customer know that 
these have been returned and the quantity that's been returned and yeah the good thing about this product is that you don't have to worry about necessarily giving any customers a credit because with these in particular um, again they go to different concerts and events so they're not exactly shipped out um, to customers themselves um, we do ship these out to different schools um, so different middle schools high schools and colleges um, a lot of teachers and professors actually like this um, this way students are not distracted and can just focus throughout the day on schoolwork um, so it's pretty cool pretty good product um, it's a fast moving account you have to be able to keep up and as you can see here I'm showing these big Gaylords filled with how many you done so far two pouches for the same customer and these right. typically are going out to a big show event um, so these are considered show hampers because they're oh, packed a certain well. way um, according to how the customer likes them packed and these for sure are going out to a concert um, so these are thousands of pouches going out as well as tote bags, um, different accessories and equipment that they use, like banners, um, also PPE equipment. Um, sorry for the shaky camera. I was not trying to get other people on camera that work in the back. Um, so there are a few other young ladies that work in the back that count the products themselves. Um, and pretty much I'm just verifying that um, she's letting me know, you know, this is how many we packed um, according to the event. And I'm just making sure everything is and tip top so shape gonna keep making more, but I'm and gonna have Nicole, that we and I'm gonna send out the amount the that they ask for the I usually target, typically I try to send out a little then some so extra just in case so, um, you know you never know, know um, so with these in particular we pretty much fill them up um, I want to say it's maybe about 1800 pouches inside I could be wrong and they go inside of each Gaylord box and then we place any of the accessories, so and any gloves, masks, hand sanitizers, so um, here, markers, know, pens, notepads. We place that on top, we yeah, cover it in plastic, yeah. and then we also yeah. shrink wrap yeah, the Gaylord boxes to a pallet itself. This way, while it's in transport, so it's okay, and we don't have to worry about the boxes breaking. Um, yeah, so again, here know, I'm talking to a lot of these. one of the but, girls in the back right, who does the packing for this order and just making sure everything's running smoothly because there's so many different moving parts. And this is not the only account that I manage here. So again, each customer does something different. As you can see, I'm passing by the coffee, which is what you saw me uh, moving the pallets for earlier. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty big warehouse. It's a lot of stuff so put the and a lot so of times I'm moving really quick and fast. So the black I gotta be on top of this. it, but yeah. The tote bags are these, so tote. All right guys, so with this part of the video, I did speed it up a bit. Um, but pretty much what I'm doing here is creating labels to ship out products to the customer as well as return labels. So with the phone pouch company that I showed you guys earlier, because the customers do return the phone pouches back as well as the tote bags and accessories, um, I do have to create a return label. So I'll create my shipping label, um, whether it's going out FedEx or UPS, and then I will create a return label, and then I'll enter the tracking info for the return label into the system. This way also the customer can see, um, you know, I've created a return label. And typically with me, just because I like everybody to be on the same page um, and to avoid me getting a lot of back and forth emails, I'll let them know the orders that 
I've created return labels per their request. Um, so a lot of times they will email me and ask me like, hey, can you create a return label for this particular customer? Um, and it's not because I didn't know, it's just because certain orders, the way they were entered as this, excuse me, the way they were entered into the system was like the customer was going to keep the order, which is possible a thing. Um, so sometimes they would come in and just email me or they will leave notation asking me to create a return label. I'd go in and update okay. that. All right, so now we are at the end of my day. So right now I'm at the local FedEx drop off um, near the airport. And the phone pouch company actually sent me a last minute request at like 4.55. <clears throat> Typically I end my day at 5 p.m. Um, so this was a last minute order that they forgot to enter in on their end. Um, but I was able to package up the cartons. I wanna say it was about seven. And yes, this is a different day for those of you who who may notice and say, well, I had on shorts earlier and now I have on pants. This is a different day, um, but I wanna say this is probably the next day. So there goes my right hand partner in crime. Um, this guy is such a hard worker. Like, And he actually helped me because I have a two door car and he has a truck, so um, he was able to fit the majority of the boxes into his car. So luckily FedEx is not far from the warehouse. It was maybe a 10 minute drive. Um, so that was good. And this FedEx is open till like 10 PM and these boxes were for next day shipment. So I'm just showing you guys the process of us going the extra mile you know, I could have said I had to leave at five, but you know, I don't have anywhere to go and it's a pandemic. So also it's just our customers trust us and they know that we work hard and go the extra mile. Um, and I know this was for like a celebrity event that was happening, some kind of comedy show. I don't know if it was for like Dave Chappelle or um, Hassan Minaj. I'm not sure who exactly, but I just know that this order needed to get to Atlanta by the next day. So I'm super happy that we made it happen and a super fast turnaround time um, considering I got the call at 4.55. So I'm at FedEx and I'm letting the girl know that I have the cartons uh, with labels already on it but I did want to get a receipt. This way I had proof that I dropped it off to FedEx. Um, I didn't want to just leave it in their hands and walk away. Um, so I'm handing her all the boxes, letting her know that everything's all good. The boxes are ready to be shipped out. All I need is a receipt from her. And these boxes are not that heavy. There was maybe like two that were a bit heavy, but um, I was also moving fast because I literally just pulled my car in a parking lot and was blocking like two cars, but luckily FedEx wasn't packed, um, you know, with a bunch of other customers. So, but still, I didn't know if anyone was gonna, you know, pull up into the parking lot and need to get a spot. So I was moving quickly um, and trying to hurry up and get this order done. But again, it was satisfaction knowing that I was able to get it done, grateful that I had the help, and um, yeah, so I'm, it's funny because looking at this, <laughs> I'm like all the way in the back of the store as if I worked there. I'm not supposed to be back there. I don't know why I'm all the way back there, but I actually did it too because I knew the boxes were heavy and I didn't want the girl to have to break her back trying to uh, always power. carry those heavy boxes guys hard work baby keep going don't ever give up
This is so annoying. 